This time, not only am I decluttering my entire closet, but today I'm also curating a seven outfit capsule wardrobe. Yes, only seven outfits, one for each day of the week. Over time, I've slowly become more comfortable with more and little habits of overconsumption have crept back in. Now I'm exhausted with the feeling of having so much to clean up after. So this month I'm gonna try something new. I will narrow down my wardrobe to just seven outfits to be worn on each day in repeat. In this video, I will show you how I declutter my closet and my steps in creating a seven outfit capsule wardrobe. Laid out behind me are all the items of clothing that I own. So I'm just gonna go through everything, um, organize it into what I wear all the time, things that need to go, and then my other pile, which always takes me the longest. I know that decluttering, especially if you're just beginning, can be very overwhelming. And if the statement speaks to you, know that you can take it a little at a time. Start off by just storing unworn items rather than donating them, or do nothing at all with the clothing, but rather just become more aware of the pieces that you're gravitating towards and the ones that never get worn. I think that effective decluttering takes time, and it's done in small doses. Once you've become more comfortable with a little less, it's easier to remove a little bit more. This is my third time going through my closet this year. The first thing that I do is take out all my clothes and organize them into a few different piles. Things that I never wear and need to go, clothing that I love, and everything else. So I have everything into piles. The left, I have just a golf shirt and my jumpsuit for when I'm working on projects. This here is all stuff that doesn't fit me, but I just can't get rid of it. And then over here, these are more dressy items that I'll wear on special occasions. This is all my winter clothes. I'm not gonna go through it right now just because I don't feel like putting on winter clothes right now. <laughs> this is all the stuff that I 100% know that I'm getting rid of. And then this stuff here, so all my socks, underwear, bras, and swimsuits. So that's all I have in my drawers was just all my socks and underwear that I didn't really need to be storing. Over here we have all the things that I want to try on just to see if I'm going to be keeping them or not. And these are pieces that I know that I like. Um, there's some in here that I want to try on. Uh, this one. And these two. I go through each of these sections piece by piece and I ask myself a few questions. Is the item in good condition? How many pieces do you own that are similar and which ones are your favorites? How often do I wear this? There are always two piles that I struggle with. It was so expensive that it's hard to get rid of and it doesn't fit, but I love it. I do my best to keep my closet to practical pieces that I love, but I always hold a little bit of space for those items that I just can't get rid of. So I have this outfit and I bought it probably a year and a half ago from um, a vintage store that we have in town and it comes with a cute little matching skirt but I've never worn it. This is like, this is the one item that I always put back in my closet, even though I don't ever wear it. So I'm gonna try it on and then make a decision on this piece. So this is more of the I love you, but you don't fit. I absolutely love this little jumpsuit. It has a nice deep V that ties up and it's just the cutest little jumpsuit. I'm hoping to wear it when my work goes on a wine tour in September. Um, so I have some work to do. That is going in the don't fit pile. Even though my wardrobe contains less than most, I still feel overwhelmed by the choices and the time spent on laundry. So I've decided to try a capsule wardrobe that consists of just seven core outfits. I'm taking it a little farther and creating a personal uniform 
wearing certain outfits on each day and repeating it week to week. I will have a small section of extras for specific occasions like working out or camping. My plan is to try this for a month and then go from there. My week generally looks like this. During the day, on Mondays, I do errands, clean, meal prep, and if I have time, I do projects and filming. Tuesdays are projects and filming. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I work from 7.30 until 4.30. On Saturday and Sunday, we're either doing projects, spending time as a family, or being outdoors. On days that I have a lot going on, the outfit needs to be versatile, comfortable, and make me feel good. I wear a uniform at work, so on work days I don't need a lot out of the outfit. It just needs to look good and make me feel good. I narrow my wardrobe down to my favorite pieces, try them each on, sort out which ones will stay, and what days I will wear them on. So this I'm going to put into my camping extras. It's just cozy, it's from Free People. This piece I'm going to put as my comfy loungewear. Um, sometimes I just like throwing on a dress in the evening or in the morning. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to try some of this stuff on. I've added these two pieces as extras that can be worn with almost any of these outfits, just in case I feel like I need a bit of variety. Extras include a few workout items, a section of camping items, a swimsuit, and a few comfy items. 